Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing uh, an item from Galen Leather. It is the Galen Leather 3 pen case. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, the parts of this case uh, and then I'm going to talk about, uh, show a few different sort of pens and what it can fit and all of that sort of stuff uh, and then uh, I'll uh, talk about some pros and cons. So firstly here is what the pen comes packaged in. A nice cardboard uh, box, very very sturdy cardboard, with nice sort of printing on the front. Now there are lots of videos around that show the history, which are the history of the uh, Gal Galen Leather uh, company. Uh, so I'm not going to go into that necessarily, but they are for, they are based in uh, Istanbul in Turkey. They make everything themselves in house. It's all very you know very nicely made and incredibly high quality. Uh, small company, but really starting to gain some international attention, and their products are now being picked up by retailers all over the world. And uh, inside comes with sort of the regular sort of information. It says this is Crazy Horse Brown. It was made on the 4th of September 2019, uh, which is very cool because it was ordered uh, only sort of a couple of days earlier. Uh, and so they're made to order, which is really great. A um, little discount offer and then, uh, you know, some other information. And then it comes with uh, this the uh, with their story which you can read there and then a little bit about the evil eye here so you can pause these to have a bit of a read okay so yes as I said, it comes packaged very simply very cleanly and uh, that's how it comes. And this is the product itself. Now this is made of leather, as you can see. It's sort of it's a this is the it's a worn leather. Like I've been using this for a few days, but it sort of already comes. I won't say a few days. A couple of uh, I've had it for about ten days. It arrived really quickly after it was sent. All of that. So like, yeah, it's been in my bag, and uh, I really like it. Uh, you know, I, I like the fact that it's not sort of this shiny buff leather it's quite it's already got some life to it uh, and I like this sort of um, this brown sort of light tan material so it's well stitched you can see there the quality of the stitching it's got a good quality zip uh, and tag and all of that strong zip we'll go into that in a bit more detail in a second but it's all really really well made and it's a nice sort of size um, if I open it up, you can see what I have in there to give a, a sense of the size. So I've got a Pilot Custom 823, a Visconti Homo Sapiens, and a Pelican M800, wait, a five actually. Uh, it's got this little pouch on the side for some paper if you want to, and a little business card slip there. Um, and yeah, it's, as I said, you can see it's very well stitched, very well made, nice sort of soft leather on the inside, and a good sturdy zip. So. As you can see already, it fits three pretty decent sized pens. Uh, none, none of these are particularly small pens, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these out uh, and we'll um, have a look at a couple of other pens in here. So the elastic uh, pouches are actually really nicely, uh, the little sleeves are, are nicely stitched once again. You can see by the way that, the, how the stitching falls, that they are made by hand, not with machine, but by hand, not sort of all sort of robot operated, if you will. There is human element involved in the creation of this case. Uh, but it's a good sturdy elastic, uh, and it certainly holds the pens nice and uh, tight in the case. Let's have a look at it now. So I have a Lamy Safari here, which fits nicely. It's a sort of a fairly sort of standard length pen. Here I have a Pilot Metropolitan which once again fits nicely. And then for a slimmer pen, seeing as, pen, seeing as, though, seeing as though I put some sort of slightly larger pens in there, here is Alami logo, uh, which if it didn't have a clip, would be too loose in here, but the clip holds it in, uh, but it will sort of move around a bit. Uh, it is, I think, designed for sort of slightly bigger pens than this. But what I wanted to show also was just for sake of the exercise, Kaveco Lily put, like, this is not gonna be the case to hold a pen like this. Um, you know, it's it, it will fall out without any uh, problem. On the other hand, the Traveler's uh, brass pen with its clip, you could easily carry something like that in there, uh, decent size, and the clip holds it nicely in place. So, what do I really like am, about this case? Well, firstly, I love the build quality. Um, the quality of the stitching, 
is phenomenal. The materials used are great. This is a beautiful, soft, warm leather. Um, and I think the color and the finish of the leather is really, really lovely. Um, and that strength of that leather gives it a real, the, the whole um, case a real strength. I like the fact that you can open it mostly flat because of that little fold in the, in the leather there. Um, this is, you know, functional. Um, I don't necessarily use that myself, uh, but if I needed to, it's there. Uh, and look, in terms of a three pen case, it's a good size. It's, it fits nicely into bags. You can see it there in my hand. It's not, you know, sort of a big case. Uh, and it means that you can actually slip this in a, in a backpack or a satchel or something, or even a handbag if that's what you carry, without too much of a problem. The price is really great. These retail for 39 American. That's through the Galen Leather website directly. Uh, so not a hugely expensive case. There are certainly much more expensive three uh, pen cases on the market. This is a fairly basic one in a lot of ways. Zipper to open, little elastic sleeves there, um, little loops I should say, and it's fine. It does absolutely the job I need it to do. And these are the sorts of pens I carry around in it. So, what are the cons? Well, look, I think there are probably two cons to a case like this, and one is universal across a lot of cases, but it's something you have to keep in mind with this one in particular, and that is the zip. Now, the zip is sturdy and strong. From a functional point of view like that, it is absolutely perfect, but this is quite an aggressive zip, and if you feel the zip, it is very, very rough. So if you're putting pens in here, that are scratchable, that have material, sensitive materials, you are going to need to be super careful. I, I do this with most cases, but when I'm putting a pen in here, I actually try and fold that zip back um, because I really don't want that attacking my pens. Now, if you have longer pens also, one thing you will notice is that um, the position of the pen means that uh, as the zip comes around, you are getting fairly close to the tops of your pens on the zip uh, there when it is closed. Uh, so if this had been half a centimetre taller, uh, it wouldn't be so much of an issue. And, and actually that would also mean the zip when loading pens in and out wouldn't be so much of a problem. But, you know, it, the pens aren't going anywhere. They're quite secure. It's doing the job. Now, the other con with this is the fact that it doesn't sit perfectly flat sort of on the desk. A lot of that is the fact that the zip doesn't go open up any further. If the zip opened up just a little further down into here, you could get that back like it does at the top there. It's, it's much easier at the top, um, but it sort of seems to sort of be pinned against the zip. And also by nature of the shape of that when it's flat, it's not gonna, it's never going to sit flat. And as this leather softens and wears, I'm sure that'll be easier. Um, but as it stands, it will sometimes just close on its own. You can see it's sort of working its way there now. Not so much of an issue, just something to be aware of. If you're looking for a case that sits nice and flat, um, there are other options, but this basic sort of design is going to have that as a flaw. But for the most part, this is a really wonderful case. And at the price, it's wonderful. The craftsmanship uh, with it is phenomenal. The quality of the material, all of that, really, really lovely. So if you're looking for a three pen leather case uh, of this sort of style without separate compartments and all of that, um, which you know is part of the price point with a case like this, if you are looking for separate compartments for your pens, it is going to jump up in price. Think of something like the Visconti Dream Touch cases, uh, which a three pen case costs 120 American or something like that, i.e. three times the price. So for this style of pen case, I think this is a really, really wonderful option. There are lots of other options out on the market, uh, but the quality of this and the build and the, um, yeah, the price. And also there's something slightly unique about material like this, the Crazy Horse, uh, brown is just really beautiful and it's I like the fact that it is so slightly worn and it's not perfect but the quality of the workmanship is phenomenal so that was the Galen leather three pen case uh, 
I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. You can contact me on any of my videos here uh, or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. Or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and all the associated accessories and I'll talk to you later.